Hello everybody, what's going on? SickMind33 here, and it's time for another freeware review of the week, where each week I take the best free stuff on the internet, show it to you guys, so you don't have to pay a single cent. <sighs> oh, that's always a mouthful. To pop this up, you pew. Probably should have opened this before, but oh well. Today's free piece of software is known as File Lab Video Editor, a completely free, fully functional video editor that works amazingly. And I know because I use it. Yep, I'll show you guys what I use for video editing. Now, File Lab, you just go to filelab.com, choose your language. I chose English. But there's also like Dutch, Francois, Italiano. Uh, no idea what that is, no idea what that is. Audio, Windows, yeah, ignore those. This is what you want. Video editor, pretty good. Learn more, here's the learn more about it. Yeah, do all this great stuff. Choose different formats. Add in some sweet overlays. The transitions on this thing are really good. You can also set up some separate audio along with your video. Uh, when you go to launch, it will go to videoeditor.filelab.com slash app. Now, when you download it, when you set this up for the first time, it's gonna ask to download one little file. This little file, it's just a small file. It's um, because whenever you use a web app, like uh, something as big as this, it asks for you to download one little file. All it does is set it up so any any time you use software with that site, it it knows, like it knows it's you. It's a really it's a small file. It's not that big of a problem. As long as you have an internet connection, you can have this. Um. Here's what I can share, but it likes you to be signed in. So Facebook, tweet, Twitter, Google, that's all it takes. So just add a file. Overlay, uh, let's see, file is what you want, I believe. Let's see if I can remember this. Uh, let me go to my recordings. As soon as I can get there. Uh, let's pull up some, a big file. This one. This is a pretty big file. It's a couple gigs. Then uh, let's see what else do I need. Um, yep, overlay is what I need. I think I need to go under music. Yep, this is the one. This way you can have a overlay is for pictures, uh, more videos and audio. Um, you can add transitions between certain points. When you click, if you edit color correction, mute, remove. I can mute an entire section. I can mute like an entire piece. Um, split. I can click some. I can't split this, but if, let's see. If I could, it'd be like control F8 or something, but let me see. Um, yep. If I clicking split here, let's say I, I want to split like right here. Click split. And then I can click split and I take this piece and I just remove it now rather than for going through it here goes through like this it would just play and then it would cut right through so yeah now the trend the splitting is really good when I click edit um actually put a transition in between so actually, let me add a transition into here. Um, transitions, that's what I need. Whoop, not what I needed. Nope, um, there's zero. These are fractions, oh yeah, when you're doing transition, hours, Minutes, seconds, mil, and uh, fraction seconds over 10. Yep, so that way when we go here, should play through. I know it's slow for like 
it's a decent one. Like, I use this all the time. And I think it's amazing. And whenever you're done, you, know, you can go here. You can set the uh, video stuff, like 16.9. Like, change the detail. And when you're done, do you make movie. And video for YouTube does all this cool stuff. I prefer if you want to, I would prefer go down to HD video, run to AVI. It punches out 720p, and that's pretty good. Web video for YouTube, I didn't trust that. So when you don't, it does goes down to cut goes down to usually your the user's video file, and then it does that. See, and this see this. The file, the video file I loaded was about six gigabytes, because my recorder generates very big files, and it's gonna put punch it out in almost half an hour, maybe less. Let's click stop, and exit out. And every time you exit out, it's gonna give you this uh, message. That's normal, even if, it, if even if your video has been fully generated. So now I can go here. I go to videos. And it'll be called my video every single time. And just from six gigabytes, it only is generating for like less than 10 seconds. That's a very small file. Let's do that. This is a very good pro. I like the program, it's nice. And um, I would recommend this program if you need to start out with a video editor rather than use some ridiculous like Windows Movie Maker. I understand that's what people most start out with, but File Lab is really good if you want to start learning more advanced stuff. Like I used that when I was I, I just found it randomly and decided I was gonna start using this and it's really easy to pick up on. It's simple. Just cut things together and I pers I recommend it to everyone. Who wants to learn video editing? Anyway, guys, that has been my episode of Freeware Review of the Week. Yep, with File Lab Video Editor. If you liked it, leave a, if you liked it, click that like, smack that like button, like it's your best friend. Maybe leave a comment. Say, you know, see what you want me to review. If you have any other software you want me to review, and yeah. I'm going to go brush my teeth or work on a mod. Bye-bye.